welcome back to another me and my body uh, if you're new here my name's Victoria this is a homeschool channel large family vlog channel bit of body confidence I've just woke up my daughter does not sleep that's why I look like this I look feel 108 this morning um, <laughs> anyway today I've got Jessica for you she's 20 she's a university student about to finish I think in a couple of months um, she teaches cheer dance, she likes horse riding, um, to watch it to the end because at the end she had something I didn't ask that wasn't part of the questions, but it's something insightful and shows that, you know, people are more to it. so, uh, I'll leave you to watch Jessica, my loves. Hi, I'm Jess, um, I am currently 20 years old. I teach burlesque, I do a lot of horse riding, and I consider myself to be an artist. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Question one. Does it annoy you when people assume because you are young and slim you surely have nothing to feel insecure about regarding your body? Question one. Yeah, I think it does. Um, like me, for example, I, I'm young, slim fairly attractive and a lot of people see that and think well what do you have to worry about um but there's always something there is always something for each person it something different um but yeah no i just because society says that you have this one thing going for you or that you are conventionally attractive or on average a good size it doesn't mean you don't have your own worries or thoughts about that question two where do you think the biggest pressures for young women to look a certain way come from question two um in short answer social media um is a big one uh, but to go more deeply into it a lot of people nowadays look to other people for inspiration or a standard even of be it beauty or fitness or whatever it may be skills and talents but really a lot of a lot of people especially young women feel are made to feel less than if they are not at this standard that society says they should be when in reality, this standard here is is not that attainable. It's not that realistic. Um, we see it all the time with models and celebrities having the perfect body, and they're all photoshopped. You know, it's it's hard for people to see all these amazing celebrities on TV or Instagram and and think why do i not look as good as them and and that's tough it really is question three when you see young women having plastic surgery or botox how do you feel and have you ever been yeah. tempted to uh so question three um yeah um i think a lot of people have felt pressured into getting plastic surgery um which i'm not against um I just think it should be something that you do for yourself and not for other people which is hard to do because a lot of our flaws that we see about ourselves are often stem from other people's opinions or what we think people think of us um but yeah i have considered it um i think if i was to do anything i would have my nose done i do not like is one of the very few things I do not like about my body and my face. Question four. You're very athletic. You enjoy horse riding and dancing. Would you recommend exercise as a way to stay body confident? Question four. Um, definitely, I would definitely recommend exercise or any sport really to those looking to increase their body confidence. Um, for me personally, I do dance and horse riding, so um, 
they're both things that have made me feel a lot stronger and a lot more graceful in many ways. Um, and as well as that, I find when you join a new sport or, or a new group, you know, you really find these people that really pull you out of your shell and it's such a good thing for your confidence body and otherwise that I think I think it's perfect the perfect way to increase your confidence question five how do you feel when plus size memes slag off skinny girls to make plus size women feel better uh, question five um they used to bother me more than they do now um I understand that for a lot of these women it's the first time they've really been made to feel pretty or wanted and I think we're taking the right step in making these positive memes or ideas to support plus size women but it would just be a lot better if we could actually raise up all kinds of women all kinds of women <laughs> without dragging others down um, so whether it's bashing skinny girls to make bigger girls feel pretty or the other way around it's it's not ideal I find but it's a good thing to really want to include more people and make them feel more positive about themselves question six what makes you feel confident about your body Question six. Um, so I was quite lucky to grow up quite skinny, um, fairly pretty. Um, it's more recently that I've realised how lucky I am in a lot of people's eyes to have not had to work so hard to maintain my figure as such. Um, I've always felt pretty confident about my body. Um, and a lot of things add to that. Um, dance especially makes me feel a lot sexier. Um, I'm very feminine as well as horse riding which has always made me feel strong uh, which I've always appreciated. Um, not just that, I find being able to look at yourself and see the good parts. So for me that's often wearing a really pretty outfit and thinking about how amazing I look. Um, that to me always makes me feel confident and happy. Question seven. Why do you think we think our weight body type looks nice on other people yet we find fault with ourselves? Question seven. Um, I think to an extent that no matter how much we look at other people we're never looking for their flaws, not like we do to ourselves. Quite often we look at ourselves for hours in the mirror or every day and there's always something off that you don't like. But quite often it's like we look at ourselves with warped views. So whatever it is, it's, it's usually not as bad as you think, but just because you have this warped view of yourself that it makes everything look so much worse and it makes people feel so much worse which which is difficult um, but I find that we never really look at anyone else like that uh, we're always harsher on ourselves than anyone else Question 8 What's your biggest challenge with being body confident? Okay, question 8 I was most looking forward to this one um, so my biggest challenge with being confident has always been people thinking that I'm very vain or stuck up myself or that I can't be humble um, but from a young age I kind of leaned into this I always pushed the idea that yes I was vain I knew I was pretty and I knew I had a good body and I was willing to show that I was willing to push that and I think a lot of people that's so rare to see that it really shocks them. So if you feel confident about your body or, or you're just starting to, don't let people make you feel bad 
for feeling good about yourself. It's, it's really important that you just really feel for yourself. It doesn't matter what other people think. Question nine. What does body positivity mean to you? Question nine. I think to me, although I'm, I'm very body confident, I, I don't struggle with it as much. What I try to say to other people is it's not so much being finding your body perfect. It's just being comfortable, being comfortable in your own skin. There's always something that everyone wants to change. I, I would like to, to be more flexible uh, and I'm working on that. But it's really important that you are comfortable with where you are and know that if you're not so happy with yourself, you can change, but only make sure that you do it for yourself to make yourself feel happy, not for anyone else. Um, so yeah, it's, it's good to be really confident and positive about your body, but for some people a good start is just not being so negative about it, not being so horrible to yourself. And it is hard. Okay, so um, this wasn't on the questions, but it's something I wanted to bring some attention to. Um, although a lot of people know me as being very body confident, very, very confident in general. Um, I actually have a lot of mental health issues. Um, I struggle and have been diagnosed with depression and anxiety, for which I'm on medication, and I have been for at least two and a half years now. Um, it definitely affects your life. So yeah, one thing I struggle with a lot in particular is relationships. Um, because whenever guys see me or anyone for that matter, it, their first thoughts are I don't think it'd be hard for you to get a boyfriend because you're so pretty or so attractive or so fit or whatever it may be but although certain things may be true I struggle a lot to feel worth it to other people and although I'm very confident in my body and how I look doesn't always translate the same to how I feel overall as a person. So, so yeah. Um, I don't know if this will be included, but I don't know. I guess I just want to say that body confidence isn't everything. It's great to feel good about yourself especially your body, um, as that's one thing most people really struggle with, but body confidence doesn't equal full confidence, especially mentally. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks.